Also in the mid-19th century, another Frenchman named Gaspard Gustave Coriolis performed several experiments showing the effect of kinetic energy on rotating systems, which have ever since become mythologized as proof of the heliocentric theory. The Coriolis effect is often said to cause sinks and toilet bowls in the northern hemisphere to drain spinning in one direction, while in the southern hemisphere causing them to spin the opposite way, thus providing proof of the spinning ball earth. Once again, however, just like Foucault's pendulums spinning either which way, sinks and toilets in the northern and southern hemisphere do not constantly spin in any one direction. Sinks and toilets in the very same household are often found to spin in opposite directions, depending entirely upon the shape of the basin and the angle of the water's entry, not the supposed rotation of the earth. Jennifer Horton wrote, while the premise makes sense that the Earth's eastward spin would cause the water in a toilet bowl to spin as well, in reality, the force and speed at which the water enters and leaves the receptacle is much too great to be influenced by something as minuscule as a single 360-degree turn over the span of a day. When all is said and done, the Coriolis effect plays no larger a role in toilet flushes than it does in the revolution of CDs in your stereo. The things that really determine the direction in which water leaves your toilet or sink are the shape of the bowl and the angle at which the liquid initially enters the bowl. The Coriolis effect is also said to affect bullet trajectories and weather patterns as well, supposedly causing most storms in the northern hemisphere to rotate counterclockwise and most storms in the southern hemisphere to rotate clockwise, to cause bullets from long-range guns to tend towards the right of the target in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Again, however, the same problems remain. Not every bullet and not every storm consistently displays the behavior and therefore cannot reasonably be used as proof of anything. What about the precision of the sight aperture, human error, and wind? What about Mickelson, Morley, and Gale's proven motion of the ether's potential effect? Why does the Coriolis effect affect most storms, but not all? If some storms rotate clockwise in the north and counterclockwise in the south, how do those storms escape the Coriolis force? And if the entire Earth's spin is uniform, why should the two hemispheres be affected any differently? Coriolis's effect and Foucault's pendulum are both said to prove the Earth moves beneath our feet, but in reality only prove how easy it can be for wolves in sheep's clothing to pull the wool over our eyes. Another supposed ball Earth proof is that in the northern hemisphere, sinks, drains, toilets all spin one direction, and in the southern hemisphere, they spin the other direction. And this is proof that the Earth is a spinning ball, once again. <laughs> However, you can find, even within your own household sometimes, uh, drains will drain in opposite directions, uh, right. let alone opposite hemispheres. So th there's, um, you can see videos on YouTube of people doing this trick at the equator. Um, they'll set up a sink, and then they'll say, this is the equator. It'll be in Ecuador or something, and then they'll have the water will go down straight, and then they'll walk a few paces, and like, okay, now we're in the northern hemisphere, and the water will go one way, and then they'll fill it up again and go down in the southern hemisphere, do it again, it goes the other way, everybody oohs and ahs, and they, they give a little tip to the, the demonstration and move on to their next tourist destination. <laughs> what is happening is that the the water will drain based on the, either the shape of the basin or the direction that the water is flowing in originally. So this trick is done by just, uh, when you fill the water in, you fill it so that it's already spinning in one direction before you pull the plug. And you always have to quickly pull the plug, otherwise it'll always look like it goes straight down. <laughs> science, science with a capital S for you right there. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, you can test this. People, there's videos uh, debunking this on YouTube. People have found drains going both directions within yeah. their own household. And so now it's just a yet another lame excuse trying to prop up a dying model. <laughs>